All right, so we'll call this meeting to order. This is the finance committee meeting. Um, and today is the uh, 20th of uh, April. And uh, we're gonna be going over the warrant and who we have here with us today uh, voting would be myself, Amy Fiden, Paul Benjamin, Valerie Hood, Alexi Levine, and Dylan Mans, uh, or Dylan Barstow Mans. And um, who, Linda Sanderson, it looks like uh, Susan and Dan are also here with us so that they could help us through the warrant and answer all our questions. Um, are you gonna want the warrant, uh, the warrant on the screen? Or do you wanna, how do you wanna do this, Amy? Uh, well, does everybody, did anybody print, the, do you have them printed out, the warrants? I have mine on my screen, but not printed out. You do have it on your screen though. Yeah, I just, I just okay. downloaded it from, um, uh, when Carolyn sent it today. All right. This, uh, so does anybody want it to be, show up? Uh, I guess my only question would be from open meeting, do we need to have it on the screen so people can see what we're talking about? Oh yeah, yeah, that probably makes sense. Yeah. Okay, why not put it up there, I guess, Linda? Right. Sometimes it is nice to see everyone's faces talking. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can you can put your yeah you can have them on the sidebar. Yeah, you are, but you're smaller now. That's a good thing for me. I'll, I'll take that. After two years of pandemic zooming, I still try to uh, scroll up and down on a screen that I'm not sharing. Right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I do that too. Okay, is that showing up now? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you, Linda. So, well, Linda, I think no, it's not the. I see I, your, I I see your files, but I don't see that that's it's not showing. Okay, you it says you are screen sharing, but let's see. You need to yeah, click but, on the ATM warrant legal review. Yeah. Um, I did, and it's open, but maybe maybe because it wasn't open before. How about? Okay. There it is. Oh, how's that? Okay. There you go. Good. So, I'll make it as narrow as I can, but I don't know if it makes any difference to people's faces, uh, Amy. I don't know. I don't know how how to share so it's less intrusive. It doesn't, Linda. It doesn't. There's one yeah. setting. On or off, sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Well, the first uh, the first ones are the standard, uh, first three are standard ones that we have on, uh, allowing us to accept grants, allowing spending of Chapter 90 funds, and allowing short-term borrowing, should it be necessary for the, uh, for, for um, funding the budget, but it's never been necessary, so. I don't think there's anything that you need to do there. And the fourth one, uh, this is right out of, uh, it, it actually is the same one that has appeared on Capital Amy, the 50,000 for the water. This is done every year. It used to be 26,000, now $50,000 to go into that reserves for the water plant filtration stabilization fund. Right. So, right. um, so it's been separated out from the rest of Capital, which you'll see in the, an article later on. So. Um, it was increased. Many, it was increased to fifty thousand this year. Hmm? How many years total on that are we doing? No, I don't know. I think we're. Wasn't uh, it ten? Yeah, at least, at least. It ends up being ten that right. that we uh, put into the fund, and that allows us to buy one replacement membrane. Okay, so we're at one hundred and thirty-two thousand in there now. So this will make it 182 if we do a few more years at, at 50. Yeah, and then we'll be able to replace that. Why are we raising the cost? Did the price of the membrane go up double in effect? Uh, there just weren't enough years to get there at 26,000. So either it was needed sooner or the cost went up. I don't know. Um, oh. I think if, Scott if, said the cost increased. It was, okay. Do we need a motion to? And that's out of water reserves, anyways. So, yes, you need a motion. So, uh, I'll make a motion that uh, we vote in favor of Article One, Article Two, Article Three, and Article Four. 
They're all consent agendas. You need me to name what they are? Is that good enough? That's, that's good enough, I think. Okay. Good enough for me. We have a second. I'll second it. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, any more discussion? All, right. all in favor? Aye. Say aye. 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 So it looks like five eyes. Oh. So no opposed, no, uh, and uh, so it's five zero. Five zero zero. zero. Yep. Right. Prior year invoices, we don't seem, I think we only had one year and uh, recently that we haven't had to put prior year invoices on, but there's always something that comes in after the close of the year and after we've closed out books. Uh, we actually closed the year a little bit earlier this year, not earlier as in it still went to June 30th, but um, but prior accountants have allowed uh, some slippage into even as late as September for paying prior year bills. And that was noted on our audit and uh, current, um, current uh, accountants uh, took that to heart and said, we're, we're only going through uh, July the way we're supposed to. So for the invoices that weren't submitted in time to be paid for the prior year, um, there, the only option is to send them to the next year's town meeting to be paid. So GPI, I believe that is a DPW bill. Um, what Matthew, is GPI? I don't remember what, who GPI is. Oh, uh, is that the Greenman? Uh, what if I don't, I don't know. I don't have Scott here. Um, these will okay. come up again. You know what, if you want to postpone on any of them, I think when you jump, no, you can't because you're not going to be on the select board one. No, uh, it's not a big deal. I mean, I'm sure. Yeah. I know, it's DP, I know it's DPW and it was a late bill and it's for supplies. Greenman proper, Greenman something. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, Matthew Bender, I believe that's the end of the uh, uh, subs subscription to legal books that there has now been terminated. So, but that's the last bill on that one. And that's one of the expenses that completely got cut completely from the budget this year, because it was getting to be over $3,000 and uh, no longer worth it. Mass Municipal Resor Human Resources, it was an old bill um, from the prior HR director. He hadn't submitted something for uh, a class that he went to. KP Law, um, somewhere along the line, we lost two months of, of uh, bills for FY21. I think it was February and March which was right in there with a the transition time between the administrators and it went to a wrong email or something like that. And uh, they picked up on it a little bit too late. And by then it has, now they understand that it has to go here. So that's two months worth of FY21 legal bills. So hopefully that will not be happening this year. So um, unfortunately that one drives it up, but the total there is 227143 all to be paid out of free cash because except the GPI, which is out of water reserves. So that answers that question. That's it's a water, it's a water supply uh, vendor. Okay. In a motion. I'll make yes. a motion to approve the Article Five prior year invoices. I'll second it. Paul, uh, nomination from Paul, second from Val. Any other discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Say aye. 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 So it looks like that's five zero zero. Mm -hmm. The next two are going to be a snap for you because this is what Finance Committee did last week. And I think that we're going to see probably, uh, I don't know how long um, th this will be a select board looking at your recommendations for the first time. But I don't think you need to take any votes on this because you already approved the budgets. Right. Eight is the and capital. It, can I can I just bring up one thing? If if the select board changes what we did, though, it'll have to come back to us, and that would be at next week's meeting. I think that that's true. Okay. I think that's true. Otherwise, the if you're not going to change it, then I, I it's always my, my understanding that the finance committee budget goes forward rather than theirs, and they would stand up and make an amendment. But um, things change from year to year, and I know that you have a different uh, yeah, that you would probably want to go to a select board meeting and work it out together. Mm -hmm. Based on your past experience. So let's see. Uh, Article 8 is the capital. Uh, Amy is your representation on the capital committee. Amy, this is everything that was approved at capital planning committee last week. 
less the 50,000, which was uh, we already approved. So that's 1,324,622. All the uh, uh, sources for pain are, are shown on the in the right hand column. They're all borrowing items because reserves are pretty much tapped out, at least on the general fund side. And it's uh, the water and sewer reserves are best used uh, used uh, to, to pay these things over time, uh, as long as our interest rates stay reasonably low. And um, anything more you want to explain on those, Amy? I don't know if you want to go through them one by one. Um, well, not unless someone has um, a, um... The only ones I'll, 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 I'll touch base on because like DPW water, um, Scott was there. He explained a little more about the, the tanks, the wells, the, and then sewer, um, the roofs uh, I, and the communication. I can't really elaborate too much on those to get details. Um, he was, you know, I'm very impressed with Scott. He, he's done a really fabulous job. I feel like um, if, when he was telling us it definitely seemed like things were needed. I don't feel like he is um, putting anything through that is um, that is extra. I think it's just the bare bones, what they really need. Um, the mower, um, I at first I thought we already did it, but that was, we originally they tried to do the mower a long time ago and it didn't, it got pulled, it didn't go through the town meeting. Then they skipped it the next, town meeting. And so this is the same mower that we keep seeing, I believe, come up again and again. And it's, it's 45,000 on the mower. Um, so you have to, that's why it's fit. It's just coming from three different spots. That's the 15, 15, 15, if it's confusing, but it's a total of 45,000 is how much they're putting in, how much the mower costs. Same thing with the plow uh, truck, the sander, that's $400,000 truck. That's the big, big Mac, big truck right there. And they've been saying that's been needed for a while. We keep pushing it aside because we haven't had the money. So we, we've tried to keep pushing it, pushing it, but they really eventually are going to need to um, get this truck. Because um, we're putting right now the one that we have, it's a replacement. The one that we have, we're putting a lot of maintenance into it. So it's costing us at this point a lot in maintenance. Same with the payloader. We have two payloaders. And they're both really, really old. And the one that's re replacing right now, and that's a total of you know 300 and something because you add those two together. Um, that one is like 1984, he said. And what happens is they, um, the ones that he had used that they got so in, in bad shape was because they put them in the salt pile and they have to push the salt pile he has come up with some other ideas, which are great. So uh, maybe the new one doesn't go in the salt pile. Maybe the old one goes in the salt pile. But then he's also talked about down the road, just renting one for the winter to put in the salt pile so that he's not um, using. So, so I expect something down the road to come back up again on a payloader um, as more of a rental. I, th I think that's a good idea. Um, schools. Um, th these are the smaller items on the schools. Uh, we heard the superintendent mention the schools before. These are just the smaller items they're requesting with the uh, projections, the screens, the Wi-Fi, um, the carpeting. Um, the, the, they do have bigger items, but that's rolling into down the road that $9 million where they're looking to uh, fix up the school that bigger project, which we will hear about again in the future, I'm sure. Um, so these are the smaller items. A lot of, the, sometimes the, um, the, the tech items such as like maybe project uh, projection uh, in the screens, some of those tech items, they used to be done or funded by a lot of it by the uh, Helping Hearts. They did a lot. That was an organization that did a real lot for Hadley Schools. Um, with the pandemic, I haven't seen them out and about. I don't even know if they still exist anymore. Um, but uh, we, a lot of our tech stuff has been paid out of other places that they've gotten. So um, I think all these are pretty worthy causes. And um, I really don't feel at this point that we talked about the bigger items, the plow and the payloader going to a debt exclusion. 
we feel that that's, that's probably not something that's a good idea because of the even if it did pass town hall meeting it might not there's a good chance it won't pass the ballot vote so you know we're feeling like this is a better we it's something that's really needed and is maybe a better way to fund it also we talked about leasing some of these things and we feel that it's probably Linda can get a better rate on her borrowing than the leasing. Um, so that's why the uh, the capital has recommended these items like this. I'll make a motion. Is that okay. All right. And the motion the motion was for uh, approval of Article Eight Capital. Yeah. All items. Okay. I second it. All motion. Val second. Um, any other discussion? Hearing, seeing none. Okay, all in favor, say aye. 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 All right, that's five zero zero. Right. Thanks. I want to remind you too. This is the uh, the borrowing within the levy. This is the uh, item that you increased fifty thousand. You added another fifty thousand to so that we could do more borrowing within the levy um, as part of the debt and interest budget last year, <clears throat> and that really does make a difference. Okay, Article 9 is what I call, uh, this is the good news article, this is we sometimes call this sweeps. This is the project, uh, these are prior voted items, that's why you see the earlier town meetings there. Uh, the project has either been in, uh, purchased and there was, there was this change and um, and then the top, in the case of the top two, these are borrowings that were authorized, but the it didn't end up costing that much. Oh, nice. So we get to reduce the uh, borrowing authorization there. And in the case of the other, uh, most of these are uh, were pursued and completed uh, or or dropped and not being pursued. But I think in most cases they were, and the project's complete, and these are returns. Uh, when this happens, the funds go back to the uh, original source. So that's why you'll see some going to free cash, some going to capital stabilization, some going back to water reserves, back to sewer reserves, back to sewer impact fund, or back to CPA, which is only fair that it goes back to those original sources and they can be used again for new projects going forward. So um, um, I, I'll, I'll make a motion, but I would like, I, I would suggest that we put a total there. So people can see how much money has been saved by our uh, can uh, you do that just we, to we, we could we could have that as information but the trouble is it's going to so many different sources i you know we do that in capital though don't we okay yeah i, I just think saying that we saved we, we were returning to these departments a total of i mean there's a 99 right. right you know i think that's a, a significant amount of money so that they they can have hope that these other authorizations for borrowings okay. may come back under budget as well it's yeah, just something that they, they ought to know Okay, let's see what we can do about that. I'll I'll uh, I'll mention right, it. So I'll, I'll make a motion to approve Article Nine, uh, borrowing and author uh, transfer authorizations, all items. I'll second it. Okay, Paul, motion and Bill second. I have a question. Um, our one comment is um, some of these items um, looked like they were a significant amount. Even like even the first two items, it was, you know, that uh, are we were we that right. off? Did they get a used item or? Honestly, I think that was a, a smaller version was purchased in the case of the roller. I'm uh, not a hundred percent, but I know that there were different uh, different dip, that they were estimating a larger one that they end up, than they actually ended up purchasing. That's what I think. Um, when it comes to uh, projects such as the uh, you know, redoing the roads. I think that they do tend to overestimate because they don't know what they're what uh, what they're going to get into sometimes until they start. Okay, that makes uh, sense. Yeah, and the other ones are pretty much uh, yeah our capital items that just seem to be leftover amounts. I know they did the garage repairs. I know they did these water projects. In the case of the septage vehicle, that's not uh, that's uh, that's not nearly enough money in that case. And they have to reconsider what their need is. This goes back at least to DPW directors. So okay. that one was a hundred thousand. Why is why do we have less than a hundred thousand? I yeah, know three years ago there was seventy-five dollars spent 
Uh, I think uh, I actually thought about this this afternoon. It's a little late to go. I mean, we really can't go back and reallocate it somewhere else. I, I know my assumption at the time was that they were getting going on it. I don't know just what they did. I don't know if it was an error, but you're right. But this is this is the balance of the fund, and that's all we can reclaim at this point. I think uh, the extra 70 or, or 80 is uh, water under the bridge at this point, because I know it was spent in 18. Um, the cemetery projects were, were completed and, and that's, that's what they had. Uh, this, the school zone, uh, that goes back four years. Uh, there's a little bit of, uh, well, this is going back and forth between the school and the DPW. It's just not gotten off the ground and they no longer think 13,000 is enough anyways. So we suggested let's just you know, start up. When, when you know what you want, come on back and, and we'll revisit. We'll revisit and find out what it is that they really need for that. Okay. All right, any, Sue has a question, has more info. Go ahead, Sue. Just a comment. Um, you really can't put totals in the warrant. The warrant is just the brass tacks. Uh, it, it might be a good informational sheet to do for the public forum, Linda. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah. yeah. There's something they stand there and say, uh, this is bringing us informational. What the, the section they call after with the motion sheet that says talking points. I think that's a good talking point. That's fine. I, yep. I can do that. Okay. okay. Ready? So great. Uh, so I made the motion and Val made a second. So uh, any other discussion? All right. Hearing none. Um, may uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay, that's five zero zero. All the rest are CPA articles. So I know you, Amy, you're in that group too. Now they don't always intend, um, they don't always, Finance Committee has not always decided to voice an opinion on CPA and same with select board. So this is your call as to whether you want to weigh in on uh, the CPA articles. Well, not that they make a, bit, a huge difference, but we, they are money most of the time. And they we are. have, I've been here, we, you know, at least since I've been here, we've been doing them. So I can, at least if we talk about it, because then we talk about it, they see it. And if it comes back or, or it, it happens to have to hit a different bucket, it would make, we understand what's going on. So I'd like everyone to see it if that's okay. All right, I'll, I'll go ahead and um, do some of these. Article 10, um, every year uh, we put money into the three buckets. So they take what money we have and we and now we're doing 50,000 each on that. It was 30,000 on some of the other ones um, in the past, but it's a percentage. And right now um, the, the state is matching a huge percentage. It was going down for a while, um, we're, uh, we weren't getting a, that great of a match from the state, but more recently it's been wonderful. So it is a great project. We are getting a lot of money from the state. So um, it's a percentage of the money that's coming in. Do we have to put these set-asides? Um, they'll spend the set-asides first before they go into the capital or until they go into the CPA general fund. So the set-asides get um, spent first. The only one that usually open space gets spent really quickly and same with historic, the one that stays out there for the most part that I don't, that hardly ever gets spent and that's the housing. Um, but the last time we moved a ton of money out of the housing uh, bucket into move it to um, under the housing trust. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where that is. But anyways, uh, and then they move uh, $5,000 towards the administrative part in case they need, such as um, if they were to work with uh, another company or if they needed an um, attorney um, if, you know, to review something or whatever. Um, it's Every year they take $5,000 out, put it into the administrative bucket, and it sweeps back, and we do it every year. Case. Actually, Amy, this is the first year it's been 5,000. It's usually been three. So I'm, I'm not sure why they, why it was increased. Yeah. But. Well, I think that they just wanted to, uh, you know, with the attorney things that they just wanted to feel a little more confident that they had it there. Um, 
a good swept in. I was thinking they didn't really need exactly that high, but because it's really, if they don't use it, just get swept back. Yep. Um, I, I didn't, you know, it made yep. some people more comfortable knowing that they didn't have to um, uh, skimp if they needed the extra help. So anyways, um, do I have a motion for article number 10? Sure, I'll make a motion to uh, uh, support uh, Article 10 Community Preservation Act Committee. I'll second it. Okay. Paul made a motion. Bill second. Any other discussion? Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 That's five zero zero. Okay. Okay. Uh, you scroll up, Linda. Oh yeah. Article. Yeah, I was just hearing from Jennifer on the uh, how the meet, the meeting happened. Yes, it did happen. <laughs> Jennifer's away this week, um, oh. so but she set it up so we can go. Oh, there you go with a the steeple then. No, so, you got to go down a little more. We're on Article Eleven, but they, oh, they, sorry, they you're right. There, right there you there. go. <laughs> article Eleven. Um, that's the, just the extensions because every time we vote on these articles, you'll see that they put a two-year. Um, uh, you know, it'll roll, they want it to roll back if it's not used in two years. So they ask um, if you're not going to use it in two years, stop by CCPA and ask for an extension. So that's what these did. Um, the water testing, I'm really not sure about the water testing um, because that was done with a prior um, health, the health um, um, agent. And this, these guys didn't seem to know too much about it, but then when they saw it, they wanted to keep it out there just in case. It's supposed to be testing the water out in the um, North Hadley um, Reservoir, or no, not, what is it called? The North Hadley uh, Warner, North, Warner? Warner Lake Warner. That's it, Lake Warner. Lake Warner. Yeah, and then the reservoir, and some of the other water sites, okay? That's what it is for. It'll be the last time you see it in CPA because it really is maintenance because it's something that if they're doing it, they should be doing it on a regular basis. Um, but I felt, I think that um, it, majority of the people wanted to try to give the opportunity to the Board of Health if they felt the need for it. It was already voted on in past town meeting to give them a little bit longer. So that's why that's there. Um, Goodwin Memorial Repairs um, and uh, uh, Goodwin Study. That's things that they're working on, and it's it's kind of they were it's 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 crazy that it's been a couple years, but it has been a couple years already. And um, they're supposed to be doing opening up the uh, first floor so that you can have a meeting rooms in there, and they were going to uh, you know just do up some basics in the Goodwin Memorial. Um, but we'll see how that goes. I think Tim Nyhart's on top of it. He's tried, last time I heard he reported back and he was saying he was just having troubles with getting the contractor and, and the whole bid going. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but they just asked for an extension because it was already passed through town meeting. Does anybody have any questions on that? No, I'll, I'll make a motion. Oh, I'm sorry, Greg, right. anybody off? No, I have no. Okay. Uh, I'll make a motion uh, in support of uh, Article 11, CPA extension. Second. Okay. Motion by Paul, second by Val. Any other discussion? None. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. That looks like it's a 5 0 0. Uh, the steeple. So the steeple at the um, the church, the first congregational church, um, it was already approved. It's going through, um, it's, it's because it's a historic building. They're only able to do, it's nothing in the church because we don't want to have anything to do with the religious part, but the outside is a historic building. So they're trying to preserve the historic building. They originally went through town meeting and they did get some money for the clock. Well, when they went to open up to fix the clock, 
they realized the beams in the steeple were not good and they were worried about them. They had an architect or someone up there that said, oh, you need these to be repaired ASAP. It's really important. Um, this is not gonna last. So they are now asking uh, CPA um, to give them 100,000 for the steeple preservation. Amy, um, do you know how much of that Cover, is it covering 100% of the cost or a portion of the cost? No, no not 100%, but it is covering um, the majority of it, I would say. Um, I don't have the exact breakdown, but they did put money into it from their congregation. Did you want me to get that exact number for you, Dylan? No, I was just, I was just curious how that usually gets approached, approached if there's any skin in the game from the... Oh, the yeah, they make a big deal pretty much unless it's a really tiny thing. Um, CPA kind of makes a big deal about having spin in the game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any other questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, um, I feel yeah. really funny about giving money to a church. <laughs> um, it's a problem for me if there is a vote taken i would be against it okay um they uh it has come up where that is um a thing where some people do and um it went through um because we had this discussion a long time ago with the north hadley church um and there was there has been suits out there against different things because of religion but the North Hadley, and, and when they did the research, as long as it's the outside of the building and it is not, and it have anything to do with the religious part of it, it's only the outside and it's only because it's historic and it has to be claimed historic. It has to be a historic thing. Then they let it go through. Otherwise, no go. Um, and yeah, we did pass the, the town did pass the uh, North Hadley Hall, not the North Hadley Hall, the North Hadley Church when they did their people. So I just wanted you to know, um, but other people feel the same way. I'm one of them. Okay. Um, I, I personally feel the other way. I feel that, um, you know, this is not a big congregation. They're not, it's not a wealthy congregation. They're not rolling in dough. They're just, you know, and, um, you know, if we want to enjoy the beauty of having an historic building look nice in our town, I think we need to contribute. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't, 100,000 seems like a lot to me, but, uh, you know, I, I, um, I, I'm, I'm guessing that there are people who know better than I what something like this should cost. But for me personally, I feel that, um, you know, it's important for us to preserve our historic buildings, you know, um, and I, I feel like we have let some of our old buildings kind of go to pot over the years. And I think that it's really important um, to preserve the character uh, and the historic value of, of some of our historic buildings. Okay, thank you. Anybody else would like to make a comment on this one? No. All right. Do I have a motion at all? Uh, I, I'll, I'll submit a motion to accept um, Article 12 uh, about the first church steeple, first church of Christ, uh, congregation okay. church. Okay. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Okay. All right. So I have a motion from Bell, a second from Dylan. Um, if there is no other discussion, if I could have all in favor, aye. aye. And then opposed? Aye. aye. Uh, nay. Nay. Okay. So we have a vote of three, two, zero. Great. Okay. Uh, next, Zaturka Park. Also, a hot item that has been brought up to town meeting. Uh, yeah, town meeting, Zaturka Park. <laughs> the last time they tried to put something in Zaturka Park, it didn't go so well. But 
Um, Zaturka Park used to be a stump dump, but the um, pretty much the CPA has put a lot of money into Zaturka Park to get it to, you know, to something, to make it into something. Um, this last um, request, Article 13, is to put a playground in there. That's the that's the equipment. That's the the kids stuff. It's a picnic table. It's it's that kind of thing. What what, what they tried to do the last time was they requested a hundred thousand for um, more of an adult feature of um, to put in Zaturka Park. That was more of um, you know a workout thing. So that failed at town meeting. So this one is more of just for kids, like a little playground, which is not, you know, I, and I'm thinking it's probably a good idea because, you know, when I was uh, younger and my kids, I had to bring them to a park. I would go to uh, the school, you know, but it's hard when the kids, when the, the uh, elementary is in school, you can't bring them because they're using it. So now they, uh, people will have another option of a park to bring their kids to. It's, and so, do I have a motion or anything else on a question on Saturka Park? I'll make a motion to approve. Okay. I'll second it. Okay. Motion by Dylan and a second by Val on Saturka Park Article 13. Any other discussion? Seeing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 That looks like that's a five zero zero. Okay, Article 14. All right. Article 14 comes in two different parts, Article 14 and Article 15. So when we do APR, APR has, you know, someone does APR, and we've been doing a lot of APR lately. What would happen is the the last ones that it was um 90 is paid by the state um and so what really apr just so you know what it is is it is the difference between what and so they have to get an appraisal and what it would be that you're losing by putting it into apr so there's a difference and i think that this one is comes up to I think it's 913,000 or something like that. Well, 90% of it will go be from the state. The 10% will come from the town. 5% uh, came from TDR, which is transfer development rights, which is um, uh, so that they would be pay 33,000. Uh, the other 5% would come from CPA, which is usually 33,000, but what's happening with this particular one is they're saying that the appraisal, they need another appraisal because the appraisal was only good for one year and they now they need another appraisal. They feel that by the time the appraisal comes in that the appraisal will be higher. If first, once the town votes, um, they can't get their money. Now they could write it off uh, in lieu of taxes or something like that, they could somehow get some of the money back, but they would lose out on a portion of it. So CPA decided to um, put this up for, they, they said, well, we want to give them the most that they can have. And we will fund everything that, because TDR won't change, the state won't change, but CPA will say, okay, we'll fund whatever the difference if the, the appraisal comes in higher, up to 100000 so this could range anywhere from 33,000 up to 100,000, depending on where the appraisal, final appraisal comes back at. The CPA votes and where they recommended everyone, it was, uh, I forget how many people were there, but I was probably, I was the only one that voted against it. And I'm for the, um, a, I'm for the um, APR but I did vote that I didn't like the fact that we have a floating dollar amount. And that's, I, I've never, since I've been on CPA, we've never had a floating dollar amount before. And I felt like that was probably 
opening up a can of worms and why wouldn't everybody else want to float their dollar amount until and get another appraisal, especially in a hot market. I don't know. I just felt uncomfortable that we didn't have a set dollar amount like we've always had in the past. So um, if when you go in, you're going to see the recommendations on uh, CPA. That's what that's for is I was the one that voted against. But I do want I will vote here for it because I do want to see them go to APR. It was the it was the dollar amount that bothered me. Is the APR permanent or can the owners get out of it by paying a, a, a penalty? Do you know, Linda? Is Dan still on? Yeah, <laughs> it, it's permanent. It takes an act of the legislature to get out of it. And they, they've had cases in the past where the states wanted to build prisons and they said no. Taxpayer money's been pay, paid to keep it in farmland. It's staying in farmland. There is a uh, some sort of tax reduction scheme based on agriculture where they can get out of it by paying 10 years back taxes. Is that different? Uh, yeah, that's chapter 61A. These parcels are already in chapter. So they pay a reduced tax. When it goes into APR, basically it removes the, the requirement that they file the application every year. Do they? So they pay the same reduced tax? They would pay the same reduced taxes if it's in chapter, but it's permanently restricted. And they used to have another program called Farm Viability, where the farmers signed a 10-year period that they wouldn't develop, and they got an annual uh, amount of money to compensate them for that. And then at the end of the 10 years, the see if the Commonwealth still wants to fund the program. Well, I'll make a motion to accept these articles. Okay. That's all. Article 13 and 14? You or is it 14 out. and 15? 14, no. 15. 14 and 15. Okay. Yeah. I'll second it. Okay. All right. Motion was made by Alexi and second by Dylan. All right. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Five zero zero. And that's the end of your financial articles. Okay. Uh, the others will be discussed at the select board meeting if you want to flip over to there. To get to the select board meeting, you have to log out of this and then go back to the uh, the Hadley page and go through the select board agenda and log in separately okay. there. Um, but I do want to say, I wanted to say one thing that Article 16. It doesn't have an impact on the town uh, for our the dollar amounts, but it does, I mean, on our budget. That's for sure, but it will have a financial impact on others. I actually um, reached out to Stop and Shop to find out what the financial impact was. Um, it is something that I think that is, you know, it does cost the our our businesses more money um, because they have to do obviously do something different, and it does affect you know. And when, when it costs our businesses more money, then down the road it will cost you know, and ultimately the consumer more money. So you're allowed to, you can wait, you may weigh in on that if the finance committee chooses. Um, I'm just saying that it, there is a financial issue there. Um, I don't necessarily know it has to do with the finance committee because I don't necessarily think that it really is on the town budget side, but I do definitely have an issue with it because of the financial part of it. Does anybody else have any comments? I, I, I'm, go ahead. I was just going to say, I'm, I'm sorry to, to disagree, I, but I, I feel like um, it's important. I think that um, we need to reduce our, our dependence on, on plastic. And, you know, we've all seen those horrifying images of what happened to animals in the ocean when they've been... Um, you know, when they've been wrapped up in plastic or they've swallowed plastic. And it's, I think as a world, we need to stop using more plastic. And, and I know I, I use disposable, I'm not disposable, um, reusable bags when I go to the market. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that's becoming more and more 
you know, the thing to do. And uh, so that should help to alleviate some of the, um, the burden of the, of the difference in price between plastic and, and paper bags. I agree. I also um, am alarmed with all the science that's coming out about microplastics. So yes. um, I would have to be in support of a plastic bag ban myself. I, I would also. Um, we got to start somewhere with this. And I'll tell you, the litter in our town sometimes from these flimsy bags that people go into a, you know, a, a store like the one across the street from me, and they go out to their car and they take the bag stuff out of the bag that they just got for two seconds use. And then it's in the parking lot, you know, or even when they put it in a trash can, it gets sucked out and blown down the street. So, um, you know, I um, don't I, I think I, I don't I uh, I think this is a good thing. I'm glad Hadley's finally addressing it. Okay. All right. Um, so there's our um, comments. Um, the, anybody else have any comments? No, but I'll, I'll make a motion that the the that our our um, that the although it's not on finances that we support this. So that we support a vote in support of uh, Article 16, plastic bag ban. I'll second. Oh, oh. oh Val, you want a second? <laughs> no, you go ahead. You need to do it. Let's not, always see, let's not always see the same hands here. <laughs> I, I um, So Paul made a motion and Lexi second an Article 16. Hold on. I, I'm still writing this stuff down. Uh, who's who? Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, so my only kind, you know, right now I'm my, um, the garbage bags in my, um, bathroom and all the little bags, I don't buy those bags. Um, I actually use the ones I get, <laughs> but not, you know, with, uh, if there was a ban, I would be purchasing the garbage bags and then putting them in my trash. Um, what do you guys use for your little trash bags? Do you just buy, you get the, the same ones or you just, is there special recyclable ones? I mean, that's what I use is my, the plat, the, just those. Um, and then I use them for my, the kids this is sneakers because they smell so bad. So I reuse those. <laughs> and I'm oh, sure they they'll appreciate that going out on, on happy TV. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I, I mean, look, I, I you know, uh, you, you have some stores that have already banned them. Uh, Northampton banned them. Um, you know, some stores have gone to paper bags. I, I reuse those. OK, uh, some people are buying smaller, you know, trash bags and some people are just, you know, using trash cans and dumping them out and cleaning them. Um, you know, everybody's going to find their own way to get through that. But the bottom line is th this is not sustainable. Yeah. It's just not sustainable. And, and what's even more unfortunate is that after the uh, public, uh, the, the murderous poisoning of Tylenol, um, we now buy any product and it has, uh, you know, uh, ounces of plastic and, and seals that are just totally useless for anything other than trash, just to protect us from, you know, that type of event again. Um, so, you know, packaging, some packaging we are going to have to live with because of some of the people who live in our world with us. But this is a real problem. I mean, and um, uh, I think this is a start at least. Yeah. Yeah, this will be a hot topic at the town meeting, I believe. Um, I think you're either one way or the other, very yep. strong for it or very strong against it. Um, the thing that bothers me the most is, is people that say it's a single use a lot because heck I use it over and over and over again. I actually yes. have a special sock in my house that actually stores them all. Yep. And I don't get the newspaper anymore. So all my Christmas decorations are stored in it. Like they, that's my cushion in my, so I mean, the, so the uses that I found to you reuse things there and I recycle, I recycle a lot. So that is one of the things I do recycle a lot. Um, so like I said, yeah, I think it's just something that we're just either you're very strongly for it, you're very strongly against it. I think there probably is issues, but I think that you need to get to the root of the problem more of where, you know, where, 
you know, what are we using for our plastics and stuff like that? There's, there's a bigger um, thing than what, I don't know. So anyways, um, let's take a vote unless someone else wants, has any more discussion. Any more discussion? Well, I would, I would like to just add that um, I, I feel like uh, I, I agree with, with Paul that it is unsustainable. And I, I like the idea of being in a town that is on the cutting edge of caring for our, our environment. You know, the beauty of our town is just, you know, it's just outrageously beautiful and we all enjoy it so much. And so I think it, you know, we all have a, you know, a job to do to, to keep it uh, beautiful and um, to, you know, to take care of it for those that come after us. And I, I do think that if, if, if bags are not just given away free, we'll find other solutions. And one of those solutions may be that some people will buy little bags to put in their little trash, but some people will think of other options. So it will reduce it somewhat if they're not just given out free all the time, in my opinion. Okay. Take a vote. So we have, yep. So we have a motion from Paul, second by Alexi, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. So four, one, zero. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Um, historical commission, the metal detector, I don't really yeah, see I, how that. I don't think we need the May internet unless we can, you know, include a rule that any coins found and money get turned into the finance committee to use on the budget. <laughs> I don't think that's yeah. going to happen. <laughs> no. Okay. Old Mountain Road. Yeah, that will have an effect down the road. But I think that we do this a lot where they, we put a road as a, well, no, this is just a change of name. So that doesn't affect that's us whatsoever. Okay. The acceptance of Megan Way into a public road. Yeah, that might be a, um, something that the, but I, I think they probably already handle it already anyways. A lot of times they, this is, we see this on articles up for um, talk because they're already plowing and they're already doing a lot of this stuff and they just need to get it listed as a town road. Um, does anybody wish to weigh in on any of these? No. 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 Okay. I think that's it then. I think yes. the rest of it is just planning board. Okay. Am I right? I believe so. I'm just zipping through. Uh, the last one uh, is just announced. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. the last one. I never saw the last one before. Why would, Why is that on our, our... Well, before elections, there would be a warrant put out announcing the elections. And because we were, because the elections are later this year, thank you, Amy, <laughs> they were able to combine that that expense into a single warrant. So it, it's this is this is taking the place of the separate election warrant. So uh, it, it uh, all the all the costs are just going into uh, publishing a single warrant. How's that? Okay. Okay. An unexpected benefit. I didn't realize we had we listed this before on a different warrant. Okay, so that's good. Yep. One more cost. You need a motion to adjourn? Yes, please. Oh, oh wait, wait. Please. No, I have a question. Well, no, before you do that. Which are all the um, most? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we Without have prejudice. Set, <laughs> we have it set for next uh, Wednesday, I believe, for a meeting. I'm thinking we don't need a meeting right now because no. I don't really feel like we have many questions. I, I, I would think that the only reason to leave it on now uh, would be if there are changes made tonight that we want to get involved in. Yes. That makes so sense. They, I think that's reasonable. So, yeah. so if we can just uh, uh, either somebody review the tape tomorrow or, or, or if you're going over to the other meeting, Amy, and if there's something that comes up, you could communicate to us that, yes, there were some changes. Do we want to continue with our other meeting to discuss them or do we, or at that point we can cancel it. Okay. Linda, is, is that sound 
practice rules. <laughs> That's, uh, that does make sense. And within the open meeting rules. So it, that way it stays on. We can always mm -hmm. cancel. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yep, I could do that. Yep, just in okay. case. Yeah, mm -hmm. just in case. And that way we can do it and keep this and stay on schedule so that the everybody's on board. Okay, I'll make a motion. I'll read, I'll make my motion again to adjourn. I'll second it. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Somebody's, Aye. somebody's already ready to go home. <laughs> all right. Bye -bye. Yeah, look at that reusable bag. Yes, yeah, <laughs> that is. That's a reusable bag. <laughs> I went kicking and screaming down that route, so. <laughs> All right. All right. Good night, everybody. Hit the red button. Be safe out there. See you at the next meeting. Bye-bye.